Oklahoma spring game yesterday. Least shocking headline of spring, but it's worth a paper pop. Least shocking headline. Deion Burks goes off for Oklahoma. Five catches, 174 yards, two touchdowns, both of the 50-plus yard variety. And salute to Toby Keith. I see they paid him some honor on the field there. Um, Deion Burks transferred there from Purdue, so he's, he's been there a very short time. It's pretty wild to hear people around Oklahoma talk about him. Deion Burks uh, may be their best receiver this year, but also he's like one of the faces of the team, and he hasn't even played a game there, and he's, he's played a spring game. But for whatever reason, Deion Burks is the kind of guy, this happens occasionally, when you get the right kind of mentality combined with the right skill set, at the right time, when they walk in the door, the room just starts gravitating around them. I'm not telling you he's a selfish guy at all. Quite the opposite. Everyone loves him there. They love him because they need him there. And he's working out of that slot position that you saw Drake Stoops in last year, except he's got a little bit different gear than Drake Stoops. So you want to buy some stock in like a connection FanDuel, at FanDuel? Can we do this? If we want to place maybe some prop bets on quarterback to wide receiver connections this year... Jackson Arnold to Deion Burks, I'll take all of that. Whatever my limit is, go ahead and insert my limit there. Also not shocking, defensive line looks pretty good for Oklahoma. At least to me, they looked really improved. White team had seven sacks yesterday. Secondary, they'll be okay. They're missing a couple of veterans that they'll have in the season. So I, I know they gave up a few chunk plays. I think they'll be okay there. I think their defense will be okay. Offensive line now, that was the big point of focus. And I'm not ready to say we're out of the woods. Certainly not out of the woods there. Certainly not. I thought because so little was expected, they pleasantly surprised me. Got to give it a second look. I've only watched the game once. But I'm going to say this with a very purposeful tone. Oklahoma offensive line better than expected? Dare we say? We better keep quiet on this. They did make a move in the portal. I'll talk about it in a second. Because this was a big recruiting event. Yesterday was a big recruiting event. And it's already paying dividends uh, because, as you see on the screen, if you're watching on YouTube, Branson Hickman has committed to Oklahoma, like in the past couple of hours. That was SMU's starting center last year. He's likely going to be Oklahoma's starting center. He started all 14 last year. He was all AAC second team. Zero sacks allowed in 517 pass-blocking snaps according to our fine friends at PFF. So that's one. I don't think they're done, but that's one. I felt like Arnold to Burks is just some of the things that stick with you, stick in your mind. I remember A.D. Mitchell a few years ago at Georgia kind of popped off in the spring game. Well, he ends up catching balls to win a national title. Uh, this is not my Oklahoma wins the national title moment or anything, but outside of injury, I'd be very surprised if we didn't see Deion Burks go off this fall. That's not a mirage. That's not an illusion. That's just a playmaker that walked in the door in Norman, Oklahoma, and it doesn't matter how long he's been there. He is one of the centralized like, focal points of that team now. 